Well, welcome everybody. This is Kathy Bilski, the Quantum Leap Let Light Unite show on UPR and radio. And I am your spiritual warrior goddess for this evening. And this is October. Yeah, we're still in October. October 20th, 2017. A lot to talk about and a lot to do tonight. Um, we're going to do some energy work. God, there's such craziness going out on the planet right now. Um, first off, before I forget, and I don't want to forget, please, guys, become a YouTube subscriber for United Public Radio because we're actually going to be and have be on visual. Ooh, you actually can be able to see me. And when that happens with me, I'll do some from the store and I'll show you different crystals and you can actually see my earth keeper. Pretty exciting, huh? I'm excited. Although I just can't wear my jammies anymore when I do my radio show. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some things that's been brought to my attention, what's going on. And First, I want to say that I stand with Congresswoman Frederica Wilson, who was really attacked by Kelly and Trump after Trump really said some stupid ass things to that the widow of the military Green Beret that died over in Niger. And um, and then they attacked her and they attacked the widow. You know, it's like these two white men, their opinion outweighs these black women I mean that's not racist is it we're going to work on the fires in California tonight and you know they haven't gone out yet we've been doing a lot of work on this and these are way not natural fires matter of fact a lot that's been happening on the earth lately coming to weather wise is not natural but what i have learned and it makes perfect sense to me that the fires in california not only were started but they were amplified by the harp and a military grade emf accelerator and you can go on YouTube. They got lots of pictures about this where trees are imploding. They're f- coming on fire from the inside out. And man, that, those fires just burned with a vengeance, didn't they? It's like something was feeding it. Well, welcome to the world of energy. Boy, those people have got some karma. That's all I can say. And the other thing I wanted to touch base with you really quick is... The Mandela effect. If you don't know what it means, you really need to go do some investigating on your own. Now, I'm just going to give you my interpretation of the Mandela effect, and it's where they are messing with our timelines. And if you don't think they are, I mean, there's little clues that have gone on and that there are out that are out there, little things that are tiny bit off, difference in name changes, logos. And my favorite changes And is, if you remember the Monopoly game, and I'm 64, so I played it a long time ago. And way back then, the banker had a monocle. And he always wore a monocle. And now they're saying, oh, no, he didn't ever. And where the Bernstein Bears is now Bernstein. So not only it messes with our memory, and they're saying, you know, we're just having a group memory glitch. I don't think so. Not at all. Our memories are fine. They're messing with the timelines. And And I've said this before, they're trying to push us on a Nazi timeline. I mean, good God, we got Nazis in power, we have white racists in power, and everything they do, it's like, oh yeah, we're going to support the Nazis, and these guys, it's really scary, because we have to do more energy work on them, is their movement is kind of growing, and they're, and it's not like they were not ever there before, it's just when Trump came in power, They feel the surge because they got a white racist and Trump's a Nazi. 
And so they can come forward and try to push their agendas. Thank God you guys are doing light work and other people are doing energy work. And it's helping people become conscious to where we're going, yeah, I don't think so. It doesn't work for me. And people come out and protest. And that's a form of enlightenment. And if you want to compare it to the 1930s when Hitler first came into power and nobody understood what was going on, well, you know, you can get away with it the first time. And then you recognize the pattern because there is a pattern. And you got a base to go back to. So the Mandela effect, and they've already come out and verified this. Scientists have. Matter of fact, I just watched a lecture on um, TED where this man, Jordy, Jordy Rose, and he invented the D die wave, which is a quantum computer. And these quantum computers are pretty damn scary because he already come out and said that they know there's different parallel universes that are exactly like ours, but maybe one tiny molecule off, which creates a different reality. And there's many of those. And these guys through the supercomputers have figured out a way to tap into that and, as they said, go back into that reality and pull out from it what they want into this reality. Well, all right, he's talking about knowledge, but who's to say that they're not pulling out demons and other crap in other dimensions? You know, what they're telling us, you know, they're only giving us one reason. It's like CERN. CERN the supercomputer because they want to find the God particle. Really? Why? What are you going to do when they find it? Why do they want it? And then you kind of realize that CERN is more than just CERN. It's just more than trying to get the God particle. That they're also possibly opening up portals to the dynamic, demonic side. Anyway, there's all kinds of different possibilities out there. And what I'm sharing with you is my truth. And I'm really challenging you guys to really go out and check this out for yourself. You know, the Mandela effect. I just watched another um, video. Um, and this guy was actually Googling it. And he's Googling the eastern shore of the United States and how it's become all sandbars. And how have we lost our inlets and our little um, our um, little islands? It's gone, and the whole coast is sandbar, and maybe a few homes, and then marsh, and it's really, really spooky. So I'm bringing it up to your attention because it needs to be talked about. You need to be aware that our reality is changing. And we do not want the reality of Nazi timeline. So we're going to do a little bit of work on that tonight, too. And also um, something for the earth, the water elemental. And by God, we're going to work on Steve Bannon. Because if you don't know who Steve Bannon is, he's an advisor to Trump. And Steve Bannon is a Nazi. Now, Stevie's goal is to literally take down the United States and destroy everything from within. And when you kind of step back and take a look at what Trump is doing, it's happening. They're going after all our allies. He's putting people in positions of power that really want to destroy that, um, that area that they're in. And take it apart. The EPA, destroy the EPA. Yeah, you know, I mean, these guys are, <clears throat> I would say reptilian, satanic. 
whether you want to call it the New World Order. And actually, part of the New World Order's plan is to have the total destruction of the United States. And I couldn't figure out how they were going to do it. (laughs) Oh, my God, here you are with Trump. And our reality, the reality that we have a son, which doesn't really work well for me. I don't know about you guys. And he's doing just that. With every single action, with every breath, with every lie. And I really believe that, um, and I've said this before, that Trump is definitely the son of Hitler and possessed by Satan. And I hate reverting to the Bible, but I can pull out a few things that have meaning. And one of them is judge them by their works. Which I, you know, a lot of the evangelicals certainly don't do. Because if they went by that, then they were going, they should be going, oh my God, we're honoring Satan. We shouldn't be doing that. But no, they are. Matter of fact, those very unhappy racist people are doing prayer work to neutralize everything, anybody that's anti-Trump. You know, and hoping that their lives would fall apart. Cancel, clear all that. Good Lord. That's certainly not enlightenment. And that's certainly not what I believe that Jesus would teach or has taught. At least not in the books. He doesn't say pray for your neighbor so his life falls apart. You know, that's kind of like voodoo and witchcraft, guys. Really. Taking your creative energy and directing it toward anything that hurts and harmful, that's dark magic. And you can call yourself an evangelical Christian, but if that's what it means to be an evangelical Christian, God. You guys need help. You really need to reconnect to the creator. And they're not. Woo, doggy. All right. So enough of that. Let's do some energy work. So for those of you who are going to um, participate, I want you to sit down, put your feet flat on the floor, sit straight up. Imagine yourself in this huge stadium loaded with people of like mind. And we're all connected through our heart chakras. In the center, we're putting a hundred ton crystal to amplify our work. Now I want you to close your eyes and just imagine you got people to the right, people to the left. And in your mind's eye, you're holding their hands. And when you hold their hands, I want you to feel yourself reconnect to the creator And fill up with this incredible divine energy, healing energy. Let it fill up your body and go to those areas where it's out of balance. You might have some discomfort. And just let that energy percolate there. And now I want you to send love and light to the right, through your right arm into the person next to you and as we're doing that we're going to invite your guardian angels to stand between you between us and feel their energy over your hand to amplify and create a bigger circle we're also going to call to all the gods and goddesses past present future all the old ancient cultures responsible for holding light the aborigines the kahunas the medicine men and women our ancestors to join the circle and amplify what we're doing. Anybody else is doing light and energy work, we're going to ask for permission also to add their energy to what we're doing. Now send love and light to the left, and as the energy flows to the left, the circle is closed. So only that which is light may enter. We're going to ask the trees to join us and take our energy and send it into the earth through their roots. So the earth can be recharged, regenerated, and out through branches. So humankind and all life forms can feel this positive energy. 
We call all the rock stones, crystals, minerals, all the earth keeper crystals, the stones at the Smithsonian Museum, the grid around Washington, all the other grids on the planet, to lock into the big crystal in the center. We call all the grids, ley lines, meridians, domes, obelisks, pyramids, all the sacred and holy spots to lock in. this light circle tonight and I'm going to ask Mother Father God that you send everybody a healing that's joining us tonight and that you guide us into doing not our will but thy will be done so be it so I want you to take a really big deep breath and I want you to imagine a bubble of light as you exhale forming above this big crystal in the center of this um, stadium and Okay, in your mind's eye, drop your hands and put them in your lap. So feel this divine energy flow down the top of your head, come out your heart chakra, and we're going to direct it into the center, and we're going to form a bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put the Mother Earth, and I want you to see her gently rotating. And as she's rotating, we're going to call to Michael the Archangel to cut all ties to any energy the Mother Earth has taken on that no longer serves her any kind of dark magic, dark any energy work that's keeping her and all life forms from evolving into the light. Now see all that be peeled off the Mother Earth and we send it through the violet flame back to God. And in the very center of the Earth, we're going to put this really high God energy in it and see it expand and just allow it to percolate in the center and see the Mother Earth recharge and regenerate from this light. Now we're going to call down from the creator this golden solar energy and see this golden solar energy cover all the pyramids, the domes, the obelisks, all the sacred spots on the planet. And as it flows and covers all these sacred spots and the pyramids, see that golden solar energy go right down into the grids, into the ley lines and just completely circle the earth. And as it does, everyone's going to feel this very high energy and help everyone reawaken in a very gentle, kind, loving way. And now we're going to allow this energy to start to go into the Mother Earth. And as it does, this energy is going to transmute all the toxins that anyone that has put inside her. the chemicals, see it all being neutralized. And anywhere around the earth that there is this, any kind of energy buildup that could create a very big earthquake, we're going to call the violet flame to blaze through that area and transmute it and gently let it go. And we're going to ask the Mother Earth to ratchet gently back and forth, back and forth in just little tiny burps. See the Mother Earth release that energy. And we're also going to call the violet flame through all the elementals that create the Earth. Air, Earth, fire, and water to transmute any out-of-balance energy. Whether it's the fires in California, the hurricanes, the floods... And see those elementals being cleansed by the violet flame, reconnected to the creator, and we command them to be neutral, to only emit love. So allow this energy to go again very into the very heart of the earth and all those places in the mother earth where she's had her minerals and rock stones taken out of her, the gold. And we're going to send so much energy into the Mother Earth, and we're going to give the Mother Earth permission to pull this energy back to her and see her doing this. Anybody where that's misused this energy or taking it off the planet, see her pull that energy back. And see the Mother Earth becoming very whole, very calm, very centered. 
and allowing that divine masculine feminine energy to come back out on the planet and touches everyone. And as everyone feels it, they become very, very centered. So again, fill the Mother Earth up with this incredible light. And as it comes back to the surface, we're going to send this energy through the water elemental. And as it comes up through the ocean, let it touch all the plankton. And we're going to send energy into the coral and ask in the coral reefs and ask that the mother, father, God, put the spark of life back into the reefs and see that coming back to life. And as we send this energy through the water, it neutralizes all poisons, toxins, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, radiation that's in the water. And we're going to send energy around all the fish, whales, dolphins, so they're Recharge, regenerated. And as this energy flows through the water, see it become very clean, very pristine. And we're going to send a white noise through the, the ocean to neutralize any sonar, anything that's out of balance, that's noise that's hurting and harming the sea life. Now we're going to bring this energy up through the North and South Pole. And as the energy goes higher, see those mountains get colder and snow starts, um, it starts to snow everywhere on the planet that there is supposed to be snow. See the clouds forming and let it snow. If that is perfect balance with nature. And now allow this energy to touch all the animals, the birds, bees, all life forms. And see it fill everyone, all the beings up with so much light. And we're going to send energy to everyone's heart chakra. And let this energy flow to everyone's brain. And we're going to ask that the reptilian part of the brain is shut down and the God brain is activated. And all the light workers fill up with so much light that they're now magnets for everything they need. They're drawing other people to work with divine abundance. And they fill up with so much abundance that they're able to share it with others. And we're going to ask Ganesha, the remover of obstacles, to go forth and remove all the obstacles out of the way of all the light workers, so they can move forward in joy and be successful in everything they do. All right, expand this and allow this energy to go into everything green, all our food, vegetables, fruits, all the trees bushes, everything that grows. And see Mother Earth becoming so strong that she now overcomes Monsanto and all those fake seeds. And see Mother Earth dominating Monsanto and Mother Earth just coming back to life in the way she was meant to be. And see her dominate those seeds, the natural seeds dominate the Monsanto seeds. And now allow this energy to go out into the air that we breathe. And as <clears throat> we do that, we're going to ask that violet flame goes through the air and the air is cleansed of radiation and all chemicals, metals, And now let this energy expand even farther so it goes out into the cosmos. And let's send a little energy in to all the satellite belts and see those satellites fill up with so much energy that they're now magnets for the space junk. And if those satellites are not being used for the highest good of Earth and all, all life forms, then let that space junk knock those satellites out 
of orbit just a little bit so they no longer can communicate. And if they've got to come down, let them come down in areas where no one will be hurt or harmed. All right, send this light out even farther so we connect with all those other planets that have actually evolved. And we thank them for helping us and we're open to receiving whatever help that they want to give us so we can actually go take our world into divine enlightenment. All right, fill everything up with light and love and let's take a deep breath and release it. All right, so let's create another bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put all those people who have gone through a natural disaster, no matter where it is on the planet, and their relatives, because they've gone through this trauma too. So we're going to, with everyone's permission, we're going to send the violet flame to all those areas where people have experienced natural disasters and around them to burn off all that post-traumatic stress and trauma they may be experiencing. Now let's surround them in the pink flame of love. And we ask that everyone is reconnected to the creator to again become an awakened spiritual beings. And now see everyone being filled with new ideas on how to move forward and rebuild their lives. And we also see the government releasing the needed funds so people can rebuild their lives. And we call to the government of the United States and Trump and FEMA to, again, set aside the Jones Act that's hurting Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. And we want this done now. Set it aside like you've done the other states so they, really, they receive everything they need and they're not paying high prices because of it. All right, chant with me. May divine peace, calm, and divine inspiration descend on all now. May divine peace, calm, and divine inspiration descend on all now. May divine peace, calm, and divine inspiration descend on all now. So be it. Fill it up with light and love, and let's take a deep breath and release it. So again, let's create another bubble of light, and again, let's... Put the water elemental back in there. So let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power of the sacred fire vested in me. I command. I call to Michael the archangel and ask that all negative ties that the water elemental has taken on be cut from them, transmuted by the violet flame and filled with so much love that the water elemental reconnects to the creator. Now let's imagine this beautiful divine healing energy coming up through the earth, flowing into all waters on the planet as we focus on the ocean we see this healing energy recharging all plankton then flowing into the coral reefs as we send this healing energy into the coral reefs we ask the creator to put the spark of life back into the, all the coral reefs on the planet we now see the reefs coming back to life and flourishing as we send this healing energy through the waters we see it neutralizing all radiations poison toxins and all pharmaceutical drugs that are in it this healing energy is also helping the water elemental circulate so it's at its perfect divine temperature we see this healing energy neutralizing all out of balance sounds including all sonar we trace this sonar energy back to its source and cut the ties to all machines used violet flame them to clean them up angel light energy to heal fill them up with love as we reconnect them to the creator, we become, we command them to ne be neutral by breaking down regularly or just stop functioning. We now send a peaceful white noise through the oceans and all waters on the planet. Now let's imagine all this healing energy surrounding all sea life and we see them all reconnecting to the creator so they may fulfill their divine missions and be healthy. We, spent, we send our special telepathic thoughts to all sea life, dolphins, whales, sharks, mantas, etc. to be guided where the water sanctuaries are to heal and be safe. We see the violet flame blazing through all sea life to help them transmute all chemicals they may have ingested all the way down to the DNA. 
As all sea life is reconnected to the creator, we ask the creator to awaken all sea life's blueprint for perfect health and put it into effect now. Let's put our attention on the Gulf of Florida or any water that has had oil and chemicals spilled in it. We ask the Mother Earth to release lots of microorganisms that are needed to eat up the oil and chemicals that were dumped there. We see people divinely inspired with new thoughts on how to clean up the oil spills that is very easy to do with no cost involved using Mother Nature's gift to clean up the mess. We ask that all who live there are filled with lots of strength, courage, and divine inspiration on all the natural ways they need to heal. May they receive all the medicines for free along with the legal means to take the government and the companies responsible for the pollution to court and win. We again call the violet flame through these water areas to transmute all dark energy the water elemental must mirror. See lots of energy going through the North Atlantic current to keep it flowing so it will help our planet keep its perfect temperature. And I want you to now see thousands and thousands and thousands of huge bottles of clean, pristine mineral water that are 10 miles high, 10 miles long, and 10 miles wide that are inches apart from each other all over the oceans. Inside these bottles of pristine, oxygenated water, let's place all the minerals, plankton, kelp, and whatever else the sea life need to survive. See these bottles becoming sanctuaries for all sea life to go to. Now we command the water elemental to mirror the bottles of water. We see the oceans clearing up and becoming healthy and vibrant again with an abundance of flourishing, healthy sea life. We ask the angels, divas, and all cosmic beings to keep all the radiation junk that is floating in the ocean from Fukushima off all shores and sent into a newly created black hole that will take it off our planet now. I call the goddess of justice to wield your sword and send those that created this mess all the karmic return they deserve now. I ask that their karmic return is amplified a hundred thousand fold. I ask that all their income is taken from them and sent to all the people they have harmed for their health care for their health care, and to replace all lost incomes. I see all government officials responsible for all cover-ups receiving their just karmic dues now, losing their jobs and going to prison, replaced by a light worker that will be of service to all, compassionate with high integrity. I see all magic keeping those responsible from being brought to justice, being dissolved along with all energy veils of invisibility and protection gone so be it fill it up with light and love and let's take a deep breath and release it all right let's create another bubble of light and in this bubble of light we're going to put the die wave system quantum computers and we're going to ask we're going to cut all ties to these computers and all dimensions they're using and whatever parallel universes they are tapping into we want ties cut we're going to violet flame these computers transmute any energy any dark intent to light and we're going to command every part of that computer to be reconnected to the creator now we're going to command it to be neutral to only emit love We're going to command that the refrigerators raise the temperature on all the computers. And we're going to cut ties between the computers, the computer chips, and the refrigerators. We're going to cut ties with the qubit. Now we're going to send so much love into these computers and the qubit and all the qubits that they're using and we're going to send it such a high intense divine energy that it puts us back on the timeline of world enlightenment and of peace and love and divine abundance And see these computers being closed down now. 
and breaking down now after they put us on the correct timeline. And as we're being put on the correct timeline, again, see, we're going into that world of enlightenment. And all those people that were Nazis and white supremacists are connected to the creator and they become awakened spiritual beings. And they have empathy and love and kindness and they're willing to share their abundance. Why not, right? If we're going to do this, manifest it well. All right, fill this up with light and love. And let's take a deep breath and release it. All right, create another bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're going to again put the state of California and the fires that are happening there. And any other place on the planet. So we called Michael the Archangel to come forth and cut all ties to whatever, whoever started the fire. And we cut the ties that the elementals have taken on and could not hold the energy. So they've got to burn it off through fire. And as we cut the ties, we call the violet flame through the fires. And we command the fire elemental to now burn off its anger through the violet flame. We command the energy of, of the angel light to heal the fire elemental. Now we reconnect the fire elemental to the creator and command it to now allow itself to be calm and neutralized. We command the winds to be still. We also ask that there's a tremendous drop in barometric pressure. And as it drops, it draws rain into the area. And imagine in your mind's eyes, 